I am pleased to welcome you to the launch of this training program on gender mainstreaming. We have here high-ranking public officers who no doubt already share government's vision for placing gender equality at the heart of our work. But to make continued progress toward gender equality, officers must be trained and supported. As defined by UN Women, gender equality training is a tool, strategy, and means to effect individual and collective transformation towards gender equality through consciousness raising, empowering learning, knowledge building, and skill development. My office has worked on a strategy to sensitize and train officers on gender mainstreaming over the next four to five years. And with the collaboration of the Ministry of Gender Equality and Family Welfare and the Civil Service College, we shall ensure that we impart the necessary skills and knowledge to officers. Public officers need to learn about opportunities and mechanisms to translate their commitments on gender equality into improved practice, results, and impacts. Gender equality is not a privilege, it is a right. It is our duty to promote and inculcate a culture of gender parity and respect for women. The 2021 figures from Statistics Mauritius show that women have charted their way in every sector of society. Mauritius has reached gender parity in the public sector with 50% female senior chief executives, 43.6% permanent secretaries, 55.4% deputy permanent secretaries, and 57.6% assistant permanent secretaries. Remarkable progress has also been made in the judiciary, with 66.7% and 59.2% for judges and magistrates, respectively. Mauritius is party to a number of international conventions and human rights instruments, such as the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women, the Beijing Platform for Action, the Maputo Protocol, and the Sustainable Development Goals. Women's rights are human rights. And development has to be human-centered and gender equitable to be sustainable. At the national level, there are different pieces of legislation that guarantee the fundamental equal rights of women and criminalize acts that transgress these rights. Ladies and gentlemen, as participants of this training session, you will acquire the capacity to promote the rights of everybody with gender neutral lenses, advocate in favor of gender policies, and support all women and men who are facing discrimination. I would like to highlight some other significant measures adopted in line with gender equality goals. The Company Act has been amended to make it mandatory for the board of directors of a public company to include at least one woman. The Employment Rights Act has been amended to allow payment of a remuneration to women workers reckoning less than 12 months of service during their 14 weeks of maternity leave. A gender equality bill will be introduced to set a strong and comprehensive legal framework for gender mainstreaming in order to achieve substantive equality 
that is equality in practice. And each ministry and public sector institution is required to publish a gender policy statement in their annual report. This training on gender mainstreaming is one of a series of activities being implemented by the different technical working groups in order to ensure that we adhere to the principles of gender equality and equity. The high-level committee has launched a mobile application for victims of gender-based violence called L'Espoir. When victims press on a panic button, police promptly detect their location through GPS and save them from, their, from the clutches of their perpetrators. Let us all contribute to raise the status of women and give them the rights they deserve. Your role is to assist in the implementation of the gender mainstreaming agenda of government. I rely on your full collaboration and commitment to ensure that this objective is successfully achieved. Le Gender Equality Bill nous fait de très grands pas en avant. Le Land Working Document, le Development Consultation avec tous les stakeholders concernés, comme je disais, you can appreciate the uh, N Bill, une loi très importante qui pour amener parité entre uh, Monsieur et Madame. Uh, ben voilà, les couvins au Parlement, quand nous pourrons faire. Les guided pour le guiding principle, c'est diminuer uh, disparité entre Monsieur et Madame. Bon, on va vous donner tout ce qui est là dans toute bonne provision de ce projet de loi-là, mais je vais garantir que définitivement, il faut faire des nous bien en avant pour nous remonter là-bas, pour nous dresser sa, sa situation d'inégalité entre Monsieur et Madame. L'interministérial technical committee qui pourra l'instituer, effectivement, pour finaliser sa, sa papier-là, ce document-là. Et euh, nous pouvons faire beaucoup, beaucoup d'efforts. D'ailleurs, aujourd'hui, comment on trouvait le lancement de sa training programme, le gender mainstreaming, par le Prime Minister's Office en collaboration avec mon ministère et le Civil Service College. C'est une démonstration qui, ça l'engage, il peut venir de, du plus haut niveau, il peut venir de, du Premier ministre lui-même. Alors, le gouvernement, le Premier ministre, nous bien engagé pour nous amener à ce combat-là, pour nous achieve, pour nous réussir, amener à la parité entre monsieur et madame. L'objectif, c'est de vous dire équipe euh, ben, officier euh, du, du service euh, civil, public service comme on appelle, vous êtes comprendre c'est quoi gender mainstreaming, les thèmes de gender même c'est quoi, et c'est vous vous êtes équipé avec le knowledge, avec, euh, avec l'information, pour être capable d'implémenter ce qu'il nous peut demander, pour être capable d'implémenter le gender mainstreaming across tout le ben, euh, ben secteur. C'est un training programme, qui est lancé par le uh, Prime Minister's Office sur le thème. Il faut across all the sectors, uh, et oui, l'exemple vient de nous, hein, nous pouvons appliquer, nous faire lire d'ailleurs. Vous avez besoin comprendre qu'il est déjà existé ça. Un gender focal points est là au niveau de chaque institution, chaque ministère, et chaque année, vous avez une allocation qui d'ailleurs est augmentée l'année dernière. Vous êtes implémenté, bonne policy, bonne action, bonne affaire concrète. Euh, pour promouvoir euh, l'égalité entre monsieur et madame.